Okay, in this tutorial we're going to be creating a form using Coffee Cups Web Form Builder to create a web form that will ask a user to input at least one of three possible telephone numbers and one phone number will have to be entered before the form will submit. I'm going to go through this probably a little quick so feel free to hit the pause key anytime you need to. We're going to start with Coffee Cups Web Form Builder open as you can see on the screen here and the first thing we're going to do is drag over a checkbox, drop it on the form, and then our three possible phone numbers. First phone number, second phone number, and a third phone number. Then we're going to go to the checkbox here. You need to come back over to properties, and we're going to change some labels here. You can fill these out any way you want on your form. I'm just going to put here, please check all that you can. And we're going to come down here to the required options. We're going to make required one so that at least one checkbox will have to be submitted. Okay, our checkboxes we're going to rename to home phone. We'll rename the second one to cell phone. And the third one will make business phone. And as you can see over on the form, those three have been changed. Then we're going to go to our first phone number here. And we'll relabel this home phone and actually we'll make it home phone number and just so that you can remember what it is when you get the email we'll make this home phone we'll make it a required field then at the bottom where it says show element we need to change this to where it'll show using display rules choose the form element and we're going to use the checkbox. Choose the operator, is, choose the value, and we're going to go home phone. Then we need to click the insert button here to actually add the rule. What this will do is only allow this home phone number box to display if the home phone is checked in the checkbox. And we're going to do the same things with the second two phone numbers. So we call this one cell phone. And we'll make it required. Then we go down to show element, use a display rule, choose the checkbox, operator is, value cell phone. And we click the insert. Then we go to our last one. And we'll make this business phone. Make it required. And set our display rule. Again, the checkbox is and business. Click the insert. Okay, really that's all there is to setting up this form. Uh, when you go to your settings, you need to give your form a name. We'll just call this one form test, or phone test rather. You need to go through each tab, set your email notices if you want to get your email confirmations. Simply click that and put in your email address. And when somebody submits your form, it'll be sent to you. Uh, if we preview this form, this is the way it'll come up. Please check all that you can. When you select on the home phone, the home phone number will show up. Cell phone, business phone. If you hit the submit button without filling any of them out, it will tell you that the fields are required. As you uncheck these, they will vanish. 
without selecting any of those you still cannot submit it because we made the checkbox required also so you need to click at least one checkbox and put in a phone number before the form will actually submit and as you can see it works great if you have any questions please feel free to drop me an email at gunsmoke at gunsmoke.me thank you